all of the data that comes in on all the topics that, is, that are sent to the Faircom Edge broker are persisted to the database. So every message, every topic, it's all persisted to the database automatically. However, you can adjust the settings. You can configure it a particular topic to use a particular table. So this allows me to say on this topic, use this table with, with the name of my choosing. And that just makes it more convenient if you want to create a data, data later. So let's show that. I'm here in the API Explorer tab of the Faircom Data Explorer. What I want to do is I want to change the API to the MQ API. And then from the JSON actions, well, I'm going to pick configure topic. That's what it defaults to, but so there's how you would pick it. And then I'm going to adjust what this puts in here just a little bit. So we want, so here it is. We're going to configure the topic, but instead of this topic, let's change it to my topic. And then just to be sure I know where it is, let's also add a database name so that my table gets put into the Faircom database. And then I want to pick my database, my table name, of course. So we'll add table name. And then we will say my topic table. OK, so since I've already logged in, I have a session. My auth token has already been replaced with a, with a valid auth token. Got my request ID. And then I've, I'm saying, on the topic, my topic, use the database table, my topic table in the database Faircom. So let's run that. Down here's where you're going to see the API response. It's showing me kind of what I sent it, but this is the important part down here. It says error code zero, error message zero. It worked. Yay.